children should be able to fly kites without ill intentions. Meet Mark Slaw. On April 18, 1991, in Florida, Mark stalked, kidnapped, raped, and smothered an 11 year old little boy. 22 year old Mark saw his 11 year old victim in a newspaper for winning a kite contest. Mark was recently released from prison for doing a three year sentence for a sexual assault on a young boy when he saw the article. Mark decided to set a plan in motion to get close to the little boy. Mark began to stalk the little boy. Mark called the family of Junie Martinez on the phone, claiming that he worked for a newspaper and wanted to write an article on the little boy. Mark also promised Junie's family that he could help the little boy secure a contract with a surfing company. Through these phone conversations, Mark became friendly with his victim's family. On April the 18th, 1991, Mark went to Junie's school. A schoolmate told the police that he saw the victim get into a U-Haul truck with a man that matched the description of Mark. On April the 20th, 1991, Mark called his aunt in Ohio and told her that someone named Donald made Mark kidnap and rape his 11-year-old victim. Mark told his aunt if he did not kidnap and rape the little boy, that Mark's mother would be killed. On April 21, 1991, police were questioning Mark's aunt when he called her. The police recorded and traced the phone call. Police arrested Mark. Mark told police where to find the body of Junie. His body was in a footlocker. The jury and police did not believe Mark. The police never found any evidence of this Donald person making Mark do anything. Police believe and prove he made up Donald. He was found guilty of first degree murder guilty of sexual battery upon a child under the age of 13 and guilty of kidnapping a child under the age of 13. He was sentenced to death. Mark was executed by lethal injection in Florida on July the 1st, 2008. Mark's last meal. He had two fried eggs, four strips of bacon, two sausage links, hash browns, butter toast, and a quart of chocolate milk. He did not have any final words. How do you feel about Mark being executed? Do you feel he deserved it? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember to click and subscribe.